Hey guys, it's Scott here from Horse Racing Daily, and today's video is going to be just a little different than the one from yesterday where I did the three most disrespected horses on the Derby Trail. This is going to be probably three of the most overhyped horses on the Kentucky Derby Trail, and I'm not going to say none of these horses can win, but I think their odds are going to get bet down to where it almost makes it where you don't even want to bet the horse. And the first horse we're going to take a look at is Crown Pride, and we're actually going to bundle Crown Pride and Summer is tomorrow. They're both the Japanese horses. And I think the time's coming in the uh, near future where a Japanese horse will win the Kentucky Derby. I personally don't think it's this year, but I think everybody else is starting to catch on to that. So you're, you're going to start seeing a lot of people putting money towards the Japanese horses. And I think the some of the value on these horses probably be upwards of 30 or 40 to 1. And I think you're going to see maybe 15, 20 to 1. I think... I think they're going to be highly over bet and just make it where the the risk is not worth the reward. And the second horse we're going to take a look at is uh, Charge It. And this will only be his fourth lifetime start. And he finished a good second in the Florida Derby. He, if he'd have ran a straight line, he probably could have caught White Barrio. And he kind of looks the part in the morning time. He's... You know, bigger horse, runs good over the track. He, he checks all the physical boxes. And I think people are going to try to take a chance. He can take that step forward, you know, win the Kentucky Derby. But I think a lot of people are going to be betting this horse to maybe the point where he gets down into uh, single-digit odds. And if anybody's saying it can't happen, just look at my boy Jack a few years ago. This horse was 20, 30 to 1 on the morning line. By the time the money started pouring he was all the way bet down to like five or six one i think he went off at second or third choice that year and most people would would have realized that he was not meant to be bet down that low like he was should have been a long shot for a reason and i think charge is going to fit the where he's going to be bet down maybe to high single digit odds and i think the kentucky derby is one of the better races to spread money around but you also want to get some good value for where you're spreading your money around. You still got to be careful not spread yourself too thin. You don't want to spend two hundred dollars to make three hundred. You want to kind of have at least some sort of concentration in where your bets go. And I think Charges' odds are going to get bet down to the point where you just don't get that uh, value anymore. And the number three horse I'm going to pick is actually is the Kentucky Derby Morning Line favorite as of last night, and that's. Zandon and uh, I know I made a video for this horse saying I think he can win the Kentucky Derby, but I liked him a lot better at six, seven, eight to one than I do at three to one because he's he's still got to come from the back of the pack. He's a closer in a big field, big race. It's a lot to ask for any horse to do, but I think six to eight to one kind of made the odds a little fair to take a chance on it. Not to mention the boost and exact payouts. Whereas now that he's down to three to one, like you're you're just not gonna get as much value and it's almost like when I seen the the morning light odds come out, I told a friend of mine, I was like, I don't even know if I want to play this horse anymore, except maybe an exotics. Like for win bet purposes, he's if he stays down this three to one morning line, I'm not gonna fool with it. It's not to me it's not gonna be worth the the money because I cause he could run a good race but get stuck in traffic and still finish a good second or third and you're yeah, you just lost a lot of money trying to do a, you know, a win bet where the value is just not there. And that's my three horses that I think can are going to be overhyped in the Kentucky Derby. Uh, I plan on doing a live stream hopefully tomorrow, if not maybe Thursday, where uh, we're going to try to go over some of the undercard races, the uh, uh, Oaks, the Derby. Uh, there's going to be a couple of friends of mine participate with me. Uh, we're still trying to work out the logistics, but tomorrow's looking looking really likely. So there'll be a lot of fun stuff coming between now and the uh, Kentucky Derby. If there's any videos that y'all would like to see or, or any questions, you know, feel free to you know comment and say what you would like. Um, I'm here for y'all, and I want to put out the best you know quality content possible. But thanks for watching, guys.